Hello, I'm Twinson, the hero of this adventure. Can you see me up in the box up there with my girlfriend Zoe? That's my trusty friend Dinofly on the right, and that's a portrait of Sendel, our benevolent goddess who breathes life into everything. Thanks to the medallion and the magical power she gave me, I was able to save our beautiful planet Twin Sun. I had to investigate all the islands to save Zoe and prevent our world from being destroyed. The terrible dictator Funfrock had the entire planet in his grip until I came along. Yep, I'm proud to say Zoe and I are expecting good news. We'll soon be hearing the pitter-pat of tiny feet, so we gotta hurry up and get everything ready. Our world lives in peace nowadays. Everything's calm, and we all have our place in the sun. Twinson, rush to the downtown pharmacy and find a cure for Dinofly. He's just crashed in the garden and looks injured. Tell me, Twinson, did you find something to cure the Dinofly? I'm still looking for a cure. Don't worry, I'll find one. You just found your magic ball. When you wear your ancestral tunic, you'll be able to bounce it at your enemy. Aha! Sendel's medallion and my ancestral tunic. Ancestral tunic and Sendel's medallion. 
By storing magic, it will enable you to bounce your ball at your enemies. We are ready, Master. Follow me. Go find him. Also, let your beard grow. You just received your wizard's diploma. But it's Twinsen! Yo, Twinsen! It's me, Joe the Elf, your old friend. Good to see you again. That's him! That's the Twinsonian we're looking for! Arrest him! Sandals ball. Now Hello! Don't forget to go to the welcoming building and have your passage registered. How can I get in? Go to the welcoming building, get a pass. Left, go to the main entrance of the base. It's the door with the green light. That means that it is open. Now own. Are you Mr. Rocket? That's me. What do you want? I'm here on behalf of Rick to look for the dissidents. And I desperately need to get to Island CX. Shut up! Are you nuts? Never! Mention the rebels in public. Meet me in my room. We can talk without danger. You are lucky to come on behalf of Rick. The government is looking for the dissidents and you are very rash. What do you want? The I know you. You're Twinson, the hero of your planet. The Emperor and Dark Monk fear you. That's why you're a wanted man. The dissidents will help you. Here, take this ring, go to the Twin Sunnian souvenir shop, and show it to the salesman. He'll take you to them. Just it's that your magic ball cannot reach. Where should I go? From what? Whoa! These paintings are bogus! Nobody knows for sure. Some guy found that drifting in space. Supposed to come from a very distant garbage can planet. Easy, Twinson. Be careful. It's not the time to break this precious fragment. You now own the Wani. You now own the Muskidies. Here you are at last. 
I was waiting for you, Twin Sunin. Dark Monk told me a lot about you. It's over, Twin Sunin. You lost. To make your defeat even more bitter, I am going to tell you the truth. With all these beliefs, I was not master of my own planet. People had only ears for Dark Monk's priests. One day, a stranger landed on Zeelish and offered to pass himself off as Dark Monk. Together, we spread the belief that he was to fulfill the Great Prophecy. Of course, this is far from the truth. I don't know why, but Dark Monk wants to appropriate the magical energy contained in your planet. And since I want to become the master of Zeelish, we made a deal. No way! I'm going to stop you! Twin Sunin, Dark Monk is unbeatable. In his statue, he has built a machine capable of storing the magical energy that he intends to steal from your planet. My agents went to Twinson to kidnap your wizards, since we needed them to attract the energy from your planet to Zilish. But we were forced to kidnap the children, because the wizards refused to cooperate. You were our only obstacle. But now, we have won. The destruction of Twinson and the use of the machine will intervene during the next ceremony. And you cannot prevent me from triggering the lunar reactors. You just use the Emperor's sword. At last we meet again, Twinsen. But this time, you are too late. With the Emperor's help, I succeeded in deceiving the Esmers. Ironic, isn't it? They mistook me for the reincarnation of Dark Monk, and granted me divine powers that even I didn't possess. Thanks to those Esmers, these powers will be mine as soon as the moon collides with Twinsen. <laughs> and what did you do with the children and the wizards, you creep? I needed the wizards to operate the machine I built in the statue. It'll attract the Sendel's energy from Twin Sun's core, and release it in the explosion. The children were only a ploy to coerce the wizards' obedience. Funfrock, you suck big time, and I'm gonna take you out, and I don't mean for pizza. Even you were part of my plan, fool of a quetch. The statue is in fact an antenna, and I needed the four fragments to place it in its ceremonial position. Now you will witness the destruction of your planet and my consecration as well. As soon as I activate the machine and the cosmic shock takes place, I will seize the Sendel's energy. It will make me a god in flesh as well as in name! <laughs> Adieu!
Thank you, Twinsen. Without you, who knows what would have happened to our planets. All thanks to you. Without your help, Sendel and I would never have been able to push the moon back. Do not mention it. You have realized our prophecy. Our planet is once again the paradise it was at creation. You have saved Zilish from the dictatorship that our Emperor was preparing. And best of all, by preventing the imposter Funfrock from executing his plans, you have saved both our worlds. Most important of all, peace is restored. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha